This next set of exercises is for stability of the neck for someone who's acutely injured. The premise is to get deep muscles in the neck to hold your spine in the correct place. You do not want to be using large muscles like this that you can feel. These are called the sternocleidomastoid muscles right through here. The idea is to gently nod down like this, up and down, without using bigger muscles that shouldn't be doing this work. You're trying to regain control of your neck. It's a very subtle chin down, chin back in the pillow without feeling muscle work through here. It should be very minimal. It's a very small tilt, very small motion. You kind of push down a little bit, pull your chin down. You can also do other uh, general strengthening exercises by pushing straight down into the pillow, lifting your head kind of straight up. Again, try not to use the giant muscles to complete lifting your head up. I have a few tricks for some postural corrections at the mid-back, a uh, way to get a good stretch through your pectorals, also help you maintain some better posture helping your thoracic spine alignment. You could use either a rolled up towel, nice and tight, rubber bands. Get a nice nice thickness towel here. Like that. You could use one of those swim noodles that they sell at the store for pools. Nice little foam there. Or they also have half foam rollers that could be used. Um, today I'll show you on the towel roll. The idea is to lay the, the towel roll right at the edge of the pillow, like so. Your head is going to be on the pillow, but not on the towel roll. This towel roll should be uh, right where your bone sticks out below your neck. Right about here is about where you want that towel to be. So roll up on here, like this and you want to just stretch through here. You can do a little rolling. Sometimes you may even get a crack through here. That could be your sternum going into place. Or some of your thoracic vertebrae is coming forward a little bit. Again, this is to be, uh, wait till someone prescribes this exercise to you. This may not be indicated for everybody, but we often do this for people who have some poor posture and need their uh, thoracic spine to be moved anteriorly. This is our neck strengthening protocol. We'll start with the most basic uh, and work our way up. Again, only do the exercises that are prescribed by your therapist. First, when people are usually in pain, they start with the stretches, a series we did prior. Uh, but for these, we want to start increasing some strength in there. And we start with the very basics, and that will be called uh, isometrics. And that is gently pressing and making muscle you feel comfortable with against the, your own pressure. So you slowly build pressure against your hand, but you're not moving your head. Good, and you relax. Put your hand up, slowly build pressure up into it. You know, one, two, three, four, five, a five to a 10 count would be about what you'd want to do there. Uh, make sure you breathe while you do it. Don't hold your breath. Good, you can do them on the sides. You could also do it backwards. Gradually increase your strength backwards and forward. Gradually build forward. You can actually imagine you're turning too. So it's so to work uh, the muscles that rotate the neck. Envision turning your head, but do it against pressure. So you're not moving, but you're envisioning like you're turning your head. That's how to do isometrics of the rotators. After you've mastered isometrics, you can actually start to work on motion against resistance using your hand. So you can actually, while you move, give yourself some resistance through the whole motion. You know, as you go all the way down, you're giving yourself a little extra. Pushing backwards, pushing forwards through resistance. Or you can use a therapy band. That put right along your head. Here it looks funny, but hey, you gotta do what you have to do. Uh, and you're gonna pull into it. Good. 
Your arm doesn't move. Your arm stays stationary. It does not go anywhere. And you just pull your head into it. Try and keep it a straight look there. There we go. That is side bending. You can do that on both sides. Um, you can you know, get nice tension through here, hold the band in front of your face, and just pull straight back. You're not looking up. You're keeping your eye focused on an object that's straight ahead of you. And you pull it straight back and you get a curvature in your neck. If you're looking up, the band's going to come off your head and it's going to tell you you're doing it wrong. So straight back like a chicken clucks. Think of that. Straight back. Good. You can also do the same thing forward. Here, just kind of pull forward into it. It can be a very subtle motion. It doesn't. You don't have to move too far. Even if it's an inch or so, that's something. Again, you want to find a position and move straight towards it. Do not look down or up. These next set of exercises I'm going to be showing you uh, are strengthening for your middle back, uh, your rhomboids, and we'll also do some pectoral muscles. Simple training using the exercise band. Uh, you could wrap it up on a pole, uh, or you could just find a doorway, wrap it right up around the doorway, you can close the door if you need to. But again, you have a nice hold here, and the idea is to gently pull back, throw your chest forward, tighten that muscle. There we go. And the idea, bring the shoulder blades together, almost like you're trying to touch your shoulder blades together. You do them with your elbows up high, and then you can do sets with your elbows down low. The change works different parts of your muscle, and important. Good, tighten, throw that chest forward, try and have the shoulder blades tighten. The second the shoulder blades get as far back as they can, you can stop. You don't have to, you know, get your arms all the way back there. The second the shoulder blades can't go any further, that's your end point for both. To work your chest, very simply, just do the opposite, keep it wrapped up. And now you're working, you can work your pectorals. Your almost like you're doing a bench press, but just with a simple band. Good. And you're tightening, tightening those pectorals and try to get them close to you. Get a nice thick band for this. Your pectorals are strong. Uh, you can also do declines. All you're doing is moving where your arms are pointing. You're working different parts of your pecs by punching downward or punching upward a little bit more. Today we'll be reviewing some more advanced uh, exercises of the neck using a uh, basic kickball. You can use a soccer ball at home, basketball, anything that works for you. I like a kickball because it has a little more give to it though. Uh, the idea is you can start to work your neck by pushing against the ball. Stability comes in which when you're pressing the ball, rolling it. So you're pressing against the ball while you roll on it, and that's working some stability in the neck. That's a favorite one. Also, while holding the ball, you can practice doing other exercises. So your neck has to operate while you're using shoulder bands or hand weights to keep that on there. So, and you can do it in various positions. So while you're keeping the ball held up here, you're also working your arm. You can kind of really make it tough on yourself and move your neck a little bit while you're doing arm motion. Makes it a little tougher.